Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would change it up slightly from my normal type of videos. You won't actually be seeing me today as I will be doing a little step-by-step -step on how to actually convert your files to SVG files using Inkscape to later be used on Silhouette. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe. I put Etsy and Etsy related videos out every Tuesday and Thursday and let's get into the tutorial. So I've already got my font that I'm wanting to convert open on Silhouette. This is just one of my designs that I've created. It's personally one of my favorites. What you want to do is make sure that your font is black and also that the outline color is black as well. To do that, you want to go over to the color section on Silhouette, change it to black and also make sure that your cutting lines are black as well. When both of those are black, it is time to proceed. And then you're going to want to kind of cut out the image. And I actually didn't know about the snipping tool until this year. Before my husband found out about the snipping tool and told me, we were actually doing it the old fashioned way where you actually print screen your computer and then you go to trusty old paint and from there you will crop the image and save it. So if you don't have the snipping tool, that's also an option. Today we are using the snipping tool and snipping tool has honestly been a game changer. You just simply click the snipping tool and cut around your image and then from there you'll save it. So it really just cuts out a few steps and saves you a bit of time. But once you've actually cut around the image using the snipping tool, you will want to save it. Okay, so once you've saved your image, you will want to actually download Inkscape if you don't already have that on your computer. You open up Inkscape. I don't think it's um, a quite common thing to have on your computer if you don't really do this type of thing and I personally didn't have Inkscape before. I, I use Inkscape because it's great for beginners and it really is quite simple to use. There's not a lot to it. I just really like the layout and the design so you will want to download Inkscape. So Inkscape is really great for beginners. Okay so once Inkscape has downloaded you will want to launch it on your computer or laptop. So once you've opened Inkscape it should look a little like this. Once you're on Inkscape you will want to go to file and open and then from there you will find the file that you have just saved and click open. And as you can see this little import box has popped up. Now what I do is I just save it as is, I don't touch it and you then click OK. So once your image is up on Inkscape that is one step closer to converting it into an SVG file. So you want to actually click on the image and how you know you have successfully clicked on the image is there will be a little box around it with arrows. Once you do that you will want to go to a path and click on trace bitmap. And when this thing pops up, I again just leave it as is, but you can have a fiddle around with it and see if you like to change it and what your preferences are. But I personally just leave it and to see your image and how it will look, you click update. And if that looks good to you, then you click OK. So once you've done that, close that little box and you will actually find that you have actually created another layer. So if you click onto your image and drag it over, there will be two of them now. So once you've moved it slightly over and you've seen that there are two files, you want to click on the bottom one because that's the original JPEG image and you will want to delete that image. It really is this simple. You really have almost created your SVG file but it's just a few more steps to go. So once you've done that, you will drag it back into the box, click file, click save as, and here you will see there's a save as type. It will come up Inkscape SVG, but you can also do plain SVG, compressed Inkspace SVG, compressed plain SVG. But my point is, this is probably the most important part. This is how you will actually save it as an SVG file. Click on the SVG file of your choosing and click save. I personally save it as Inkscape SVG because you're working with Inkscape. I don't know, for me it just makes the most sense. So now is the time where you can go back into your Silhouette program so you can close Inkscape. And once you're in your Silhouette program, you want to go to File and Open. And wherever you saved your SVG file, you want to click onto that image. Now what I personally like to do is actually change the coloring back so I can see where the cut lines are. So I go up to Color and I just change it back to being the graph. And then I also will change the black box next to it which is the cut lines to be the red and that just kind of shows me where the cut lines are and gives me more of a visual of what it will look like when it is cutting. So if that all looks great and you're happy with it you can just send it to be cut. So the options really are endless when it comes to what you can do with an SVG file and what can actually be changed into an SVG file. Have a little play around with it, have some fun with it and I really hope that this video has helped you. 
and that it was easy to understand. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I put videos out every Tuesday and Thursday, so hit that subscribe button if you like these type of videos. Have a lovely day. Have a great rest of the week. I hope you're all doing really well out there and staying safe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.